Piers Morgan was mocked on social media after he sat through Prince Harry getting a rapturous reception at the GQ Man of the Year Awards. Harry received a standing ovation from the London crowd, which he addressed from California. Those in attendance included Mr. Morgan, the former Good Morning Britain co-host, who has emerged as a fierce critic of the Sussexes. The host welcomed Harry with the words, We love him, yes, we miss him. Please welcome, live from California, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Harry delivered an address hitting out at coronavirus disinformation and urging rich countries to share vaccines with the developing world. Sussex fans took to social media to praise Harry's speech and mock Piers Morgan for being forced to listen. One Twitter fan account, which had a photo of Meghan as its profile picture, tweeted, The introduction to Harry's speech was so cute. He got a standing ovation, and to make it sweet appears Morgan was in the crowd. She ended the tweet with an emoji denoting face with tears of joy. Another Twitter user wrote, Piers being there is just icing on the cake. A third said, They probably said that we miss you to send a message to Piers Morgan and other royalist bigots in the audience. Referring to Mr. Morgan the fourth posted, Oh yeah, his face must have gone all red. No leaking nothing, and he had to sit and listen to the guy who got the woman of his dreams. I am very happy as my people would say. Mr. Morgan acknowledged the unusual situation on social media, sharing an article about him listening to Harry's speech live with the caption number orcs. The former Good Morning Britain presenter also came under fire from Dr. Shola Mose Shogbamamu, a lawyer and political activist, over his attitude towards Prince Philip. She shared an article Mr. Morgan wrote in 2019, after Philip was involved in a car crash, and compared it to one of his recent tweets. The 2019 article was titled, Piers Morgan. It's time the Queen gave her rude, stubborn, insensitive, arrogant and dangerous Duke of Hazard his driving marching orders. Dr. Mose Shogbamamu tweeted, Hypocrisy of Piers Morgan knows no bounds. He branded 97 years Prince Philip rudest human being ever met. Demanded Queen gives him marching orders in 2019. But you're all about his freedom of speech, yes. On Wednesday, ITV was cleared by media regulator Ofcom over comments Mr. Morgan made about the Sussexes. Following their incendiary interview with Oprah Winfrey in March, the Good Morning Britain presenter said he didn't believe a word Meghan said. Ofcom ruled restricting his opinions would be a chilling restriction on free speech. Mr. Morgan said he was delighted with the decision. He added the regulator had emphatically endorsed my right to not believe what the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were saying. What readers say, it'd be more impressed if just one celebrity acted on their behalf and used a variation of. I agree that my friends have shared publicly how they've endured terrible family experiences and I don't need to see any proof of their accusations. Moreover, I fully support their need for a husband after the stack is rolled up. And you, what do you think?